Hi guys, Chris here. I'm just going to do a little video today. I've come across a guy called John Windsor Cunningham who's doing a British accent, teaching you how to do a British accent. Uh, this is for American actors and I've got to say he's right in what he's saying. You know, there are different accents in Britain but he's mainly focusing on one but everything that he's telling you to say it's like, wait, I don't speak like that. I've just left a comment saying, like, I've never used any of these words the way you're saying them. Uh, so I'm just going to do a little A-B comparison anyway. It's all a bit of fun, this. There's nothing, you know, he's right. He is writing what he's teaching here. I'm not trying to pull him to bits at all. But I'll also just give you an example of how mad the British accent can go. Uh, in case you haven't realised, I'm, I'm from Liverpool, so this is my accent. Um, yeah, OK, so let's start it off. Popping in the word tomato. So uh, the first is the sound um, a, as in ask, uh, yeah. which of course Brits pronounce as R as in ask. No, we don't. I pronounce it ask the way you said. Ask. So please, after me, say ask. Ask. <laughs> and now to ask something. To ask something? Even if you know about words like ask, um, I'd like you to repeat these after me, as the aim is to become conscious of these particular sounds. There is a, it's not ask, there is a very uh, That's really posh. class British accent which sort of talks away like this, and ask. Oh yes, Tony Ho, yes, rather. And I'll go into that when I'm doing a film on comedy. Um, but in any case, you have to learn this sound first. So for cast, please say cast. Cast? But and we don't say that. Fast, please say fast. But we don't say fast, we say fast. We Ask to be cast fast. We ask to be cast fast. You don't need to remember any of these words, <laughs> just to really get used to the sound of the change. <laughs> oh, that's from so good, that's after not good. to after. After? We say after? I just say them when I wave at the camera or if the words appear on the screen. Half is half. Half, yeah, give you half. Task is task. No, we say task. After half the task on the raft. After half the task on the raft. Laugh is laugh. <laughs> it is, it's laugh. Can't is can't. Can't, I'll give you that one. Bath Perfect. is bath. No, it's bath. He can't laugh in the bath. He can't laugh in the bath. Example is example. <laughs> example, it's not. Command it's a, is command. Command. Grass is grass. It's grass. For example, I command you to stay on the grass. For example, I command you to stay on the grass. Now, there are exceptions. A hand oh, doesn't become a hond. I agree with that. A hand doesn't become and, but command does become command. And there's a rule which In some explains parts. which letters have to follow the sound to make this change, but there are exceptions to that, and if you try and learn it all, I think it'll just make things very, very difficult. Anyway. Anyway, when you're listening to... Uh, Bye, John. Yeah, so I'm just going to cut it short there. I think you get the idea of, uh, you know... He is right in what he's saying. This is one way of learning how to speak with a British accent. But also, you've got to remember there's so many different accents within the British Isles that teaching one accent, you can just see quite easily how a lot of words are pronounced it's totally differently and with totally different timbres and dialects, you know, um, in other parts of the country. Like, say, up in the north, we generally speak really quick, in case you haven't noticed. Um, when I lived abroad, the one major thing I'd notice is I'd be talking to people, and they would be looking at me going, what are you saying? So I learned, really, see, I'm going a bit quick here, I learned to speak a bit slower, so that people could understand. And one of the girls, <laughs> we had to move some beds. So I said, OK, right, we need to go and get these beds and move them. And she's going what i said the beds we've got to move the beds uh the what i said beds like what you sleep on oh you mean a bed I said, yeah i've said a bed and she went i thought you said birds as in things with fly <laughs> i was like no i said bed and she then made me say bird and bed next to each other bird bed bird bed 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 there's, there's a difference but anyway um yet yeah, the accents can get quite tricky uh especially the more north you go when you get towards glasgow i love the glaswegian accent but i've got to be honest it took me a while to really tune into it and understand it uh, so watching episodes of still game and limmy 
really helped with that. And living with a guy in university who was from Aberdeen, he taught me a lot of the, the slang and the dialects. Um, so yeah, that, I, I hope this has been a bit of fun for you. So, like I say, you know, uh, John Windsor Cunningham has done a really good video. Um, he is teaching it right. <laughs> I just thought I'd just poke a little bit of fun. Um, so I'm going to put some more videos up soon anyway. Um, if anyone's interested, so drop me a like and all that sort of YouTube-y stuff, and, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, take care, guys. Bye-bye.